We have a. Do you want any more of this one? I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. Yeah? You're going to be in the front row for my concert? Thank you. Is this somebody's special chair? Like it can be your special chair. You'll get like the side view. So I also get the side view. You do get the side view, my front row. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is this your chair? No. It's your chair tonight. Okay. Oh, that means it is your chair. <laughs> no, it's typically Petey's chair. Oh, okay. Or my chair. <laughs> a little nibble of cheese is down there. Search for <gasps> Daisy. Oh, and oh, Daisy. There is the alarm telling us it's about to start. Nice. Seven o'clock and all is well. Come join. Have a seat. I'm going to play three pieces. Um, wait, let me get my notes. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm going to play three pieces. Um, I'm also going to tell you a bunch of really bad jokes about ham. So thank you guys for helping me eat ham. Um, I will ask you to take some more home. Um, and thank you for listening. So, so the first ham joke. <coughs> I tried to explain why we are serving ham at this event. However, people weren't listening to my post hoc justification. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. Thank you. So that was a piece inspired by a friend of mine, Lori Wallow, who said, um, you need to create a piece of music around letting someone hear something they've never heard before, yet is still immediately familiar. Hmm. Um, I'm playing, as, as many of you guys know, um, as I think there's three people online, hello friends. Um, I am playing on a D Celtic handpan from Isthmus Instruments. Um, this was made by Jenny Robinson. Um, its name is Benarib. We've been playing together since April of 2021. Now, uh, I would like to tell you another terrible joke about ham as I kind of switch instruments and I'm going to kind of change positions a little bit here with some help from my cameraman. So, uh, what is the difference between 50 shades of gray and green eggs and ham? They both encourage people who can barely read to try new things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> kind of like that one. <laughs> so, um, part of the impetus, part of the impetus for tonight's concert is uh, this new instrument to me. This is a G Egypti uh, made by Josh Keegan and Jared Hausman at Arcana Handpans. They're based out of Colorado Springs. And um, I have been playing with, I have been with this drum now since um, end of August. And I feel as if finally I know how uh, to play it, mm. right? It's, uh, I've got past the first hundred hours of playing on this drum and I feel like I'm ready to share it with you. So thank you guys for being here so I can perform mm -hmm. something. Um, I also want to, I, I name everything. I mean, you guys, you may not know this, but I name everything. Um, so I wanted to share with you what this drum is now, is now named. Um, so this drum is named uh, Satet. Satet is a God of the Egyptian pantheon mm -hmm. and specifically, um, at Elephantine, this, this beautiful, beautiful um, <coughs> religious and historical site that's way, 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 way south, south even of what the normal borders of Egypt are. There's this island in the middle of the Nile, Elephantine, and that is where the Temple of Satet is located uh, because Satet is the goddess from which forth the Nile flows. Mm -hmm. All of the water flows through her, and in appeasing her, the Nile has the annual flood. Um, so I named this drum Satet. Okay, I will. I'm happy to wait for you to come back, Iris. Are you sure it wasn't mine? I'm not sure. But okay. I want to be sure that it's not mine. I was joking with Sam earlier today that maybe one time I'll do a concert where I'll tell everybody, please leave your phones on and turn the ringer all the way up as loud as you possibly can. Because at a certain point in this performance, I'm going to ask you to call someone else in this room and make all the cell phones go off. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, Petey, he won't, he'll settle down when he knows we're just playing some tunes. And Sam, I need to peek at the clock. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. That's the fun part about a house concert. It's like, hi, thanks guys. I'm gonna play some music. <laughs> hmm. Satet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thought you could be here. Oh, it's so Hello, thank you. Sautet. I named my new drum Sautet after the goddess from which the Nile flows forth from. Mm. <laughs> Good. Come on in and settle down. I'm going to play one more. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm so sorry you guys have missed um, two really bad jokes about ham. Oh. Yeah, so you'll have to just hit me up later. Right. I'll tell you again. Okay. Um, I'm going to sit back down here and go back to Benarib. And hence does that name originate from... Ah, also Egyptian. Um, Benarib is the name of the first queen consort of ancient Egypt. So the first pharaoh was named Narmer, and they found in his big um, burial complex, there was one tomb that was labeled, um, so there was Narmer's, and then there was this other tomb that had someone's name in it, which is very rare for that period, yeah. and it was Benarib. Um, and I like it for two reasons. One is that um, it's a queen consort, and yay. Um, but the other piece that I really like is that it it literally means um, sweetheart. Oh. But but no, but not like how we're like, oh, my beloved one. No, it literally means like sugar and a piece of meat. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. this, it's like this cone that means a pile of sugar and a heart that looks like it has an aorta coming out of it. Wow. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> okay, so now that you're here. Oh, wait, Sam, come back. I'm about to tell a terrible joke about ham. Okay. So what is the difference between a microwaved sweet potato and a ham thrown off a balcony? One is a heated yam, and the other is a heated ham. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Groan. <laughs> is is mum coming back? Okay. Oh, well, wait a minute, because I guess I should say some um, thank yous and acknowledgments. Ah. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for eating a lot of ham. I hope you guys are really mm -hmm. hungry. There's a lot of ham. I need your help. I will send you home with leftovers because there's a lot of ham and I need your help. Um, What's the story of the ham again? Did you find it in your freezer? Yes. Yeah. And it was as I was packing this year's pig yeah. into the freezer and trying to make space for all of it. I'm like, oh my God, there's a whole ham leftover from last year. So, and it's, and it was like eight and a half pounds. It was like this oh, big, yeah. right? It wasn't this little, so I need help and I am grateful for it <laughs> because otherwise, oh my God, we'd have ham coming out our ears. Well, sit, settle, let me play one more and then we can go back to partying and entertaining and celebrating. And... Okay, um, so this is actually, this is actually my last piece. I'm so sorry with timing weird, but um, I've been playing this drum now for two and a half years. And um, ever since I've been playing, I've been playing this little little waltz. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a waltz and variation in D. And I think the variations, what you'll see is that I started playing it uh, very simply and have built it up um, as my skills have developed. Mm -hmm. um, and so part of the reason for giving a concert, I believe, is for me to take assessment of the skills and things <coughs> that I've learned to summarize them and to share them, right? And so um, I'll start with a very simple waltz um, and then open it up with some other variations, utilizing some of the new skills that I've learned. Hey, Sam, thank you. I wanna give you a special acknowledgement here now that you're, you're back from doggy potty break um, to just say that you've been really wonderful in helping set up technology. And I mean, even I didn't know what songs to play on the set list. So Sam sat down with me and said, oh, well, I like it when you play that. That should be something that comes up in the set list. Mm. So Sam has been really instrumental in helping make this happen. And I, um, I think he's my biggest fan because, my God, how many hours of me playing handpans have you listened to in your, yeah, it's ridiculous. 
Yeah, he likes when I when I hang out with all y'all and play handpans because it means I'm not here and he doesn't have to listen to me. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I love you.
Thank you. Thank you. Can we clap out loud? Yes.